Hello, we're going to go over uh, the activity energy and matter in an ecosystem. And here we have the lab. Here we have the food web cards that you need to print out. And if you don't have a printer, I guess you could um, you know, screenshot them and organize them on a Google slide. That's another option. Here is the answer sheet that I want you to use to uh, write your analysis questions. And here's where you're going to turn it in. Uh, before you start the lab, if you're not that familiar about food webs, food chains, producers, consumers, and energy levels, please watch this cute video called A Million Sharks. And it talks about why we don't have um, a million sharks at the top of the food chain. And goes over all the different parts of the food chain. So that's a very helpful video to watch before you start the lab. And then you can go ahead and open up your lab. So here I have my lab and here I have the answer sheet. Okay, so you can go ahead and write, open it with Cami. If you wanna do a Google Doc, do not do this, but go ahead and click on the link that I left for you in, in the Power School. So here's the Google Doc version right here. You can click on that link. Okay, so here we've got um, a quick overview of producers, consumers, um, decomposers, and then uh, the difference between food chain and food web. Notice the sun is always the source of energy for all the producers. And so that's going to be at the bottom, I guess. Um, what happens if there's a disruption? How energy as you go up the food chain, energy is lost. So uh, the amount of energy available is the highest in producers, but if you go up to the tertiary consumers, there's not as much energy available at that level. And the shark video will show you that a little more clearly if you don't understand that. And then you can also read about it here. Okay, so for this activity, you're going to be cutting out your food web cards. And at the top of your poster, that's my dog whining. At the top of the poster, you're going to be it doesn't have to be a poster, just a piece of paper. Bacteria of the skin. Now, um, I printed my pictures out a little smaller just so they would fit under the camera, um, which you can do, or you can just put it on a table and screenshot it. We don't, because this is all gonna be submitted virtually, you don't have to use tape and um, poster board. Um, so basically what you're going to do is these are uh, bacteria that are found on your skin. And the reason why we're um, making a food web of this is because the next activity you're going to be doing is actually growing bacteria from your skin, which is kind of both cool and fascinating. Um, so you're going to go ahead and read the descriptions of each of these bacteria and you're gonna make a food web. So remember from the picture on the lab, sunlight is the, is the source, of bacteria, uh, source of energy for the producers. So the producers should be kind of at the bottom and sunlight is gonna be giving energy to the producers. So anything that makes food for itself from sunlight is gonna be a producer. So I'm gonna look through the different bacteria and it tells you where it gets energy from. So the one that gets energy from sunlight is going to be my producer. I don't see any other producers here. So this is probably going to be the start of my food web. Okay. And then from here, you're going to have to look at the different bacteria and say, which ones feed off of, um, this mycobacteria. And you'll find that a couple of them show that they feed on mycobacteria. So let's say these two feed on mycobacteria. Okay, 
Right now it's just a little chain, but, but if there's more than one that's feeding on mycobacteria, then we need to go ahead and, and put them like this. Okay, I'm not saying this one is correct, I'm just using that as an example. And you're going to go ahead and use arrows to show how energy is transferred from one source to another. Okay, and you're going to go ahead and read these, figure out how they should be um, arranged in a food web with arrows. And then when you finish, you're going to go ahead and screenshot that and submit that with your analysis questions. Okay, and here are the analysis questions. But again, I would like you to answer them on this PDF or Google Doc and you can write your your responses here this one this question the answer is in the introduction and then these questions are about the food web that you made of the bacteria and then uh, starting with number six and on is again is going to be coming from the introduction so uh, and the last one is going to be from this this uh, food web so enjoy. Have, uh, if you have any other questions, just shoot me an email or a text on your mic, and I will see you later.